Hey guys, it's Dr. Emmer, and we're using Renuva. You can see this here, it's a synthetic fat injection. And in some of my patients, we use it to actually build some muscle and help give more contours. So, my patient here, we're going to build up his upper chest a little bit using the Renuva and some PRP. I'm going really slow because this area does hurt a little bit sensitive, but it builds fat in this area where there may be some that's missing. Squeeze again, so you can see. So you can see it's already building up there. I want you to rotate, rotate that into there. That's right, so you have more extra, it's a little clumpy. And the Renuva fat is a synthetic cadaver graft. So what it's planned to do is to go into the area and tell the body to produce fat cells in that area. Um, in some instances, I found it actually builds some muscle. Good. You have to use a larger needle, unfortunately, for this because it's a stronger material, um, thicker. Squeeze again. So you can see now this upper chest is built out compared to here. Good. Okay. A couple more. You're doing great. That's there. So now we're going to build up in this upper section. Keep breath, keep breath. We're going right in the fat layer and into the upper muscle. And what will happen is this will inflame a little bit. And it will hopefully recruit fat cells into this area to continue the building process. Our last one here. And you can see it's building up the upper chest. Okay, deep breath. Okay. Good. Any questions? Um, someone asks, what kind of fat is that again? So this is cadaver graft. It's called Renuva or adipose matrix cells. Basically, it's stem cell therapy to help build in the area here. Okay. Sassy Spike says, I miss you, Dr. Emmerd. Oh, I miss you too. I know what that is. I miss you too. Where have you been? Squeeze again. Yeah. Okay, relax. We're doing a little extra on this side. Can this help gym results? It can. I mean, this can enhance surgery results. It can fix indentations sometimes in post-surgery results or damp or any tissue damage. It can, it can boost up your own muscles. So I have patients who have done this in calves, who have done this in buttock, who have done this in arms. Squeeze again. Okay, relax. And it's literally just built up some of their muscle and their tissue. It's just a very sensitive area. This is the last one? Yeah. Okay. Just a very sensitive area. Why not? Why not sculpture? So sculpture isn't gonna. It's sculpture isn't gonna give him volume. It's gonna sculpture would build collagen over time. This we need actual true volume and fat to fill that area, and so we're using that. Now you could use something like velofil or even silicone, but they're just more dangerous. This is much more natural. To the other side. I had show. no idea this could be done. So fascinating. I want to show you guys again the consistency. It's very milky, almost like a vanilla milkshake, unfortunately. But that's how you have to do it because these stem cells need to be suspended. Deep breath, deep breath. Mm, fuck. Oh, oh, fuck. Sorry. Mm. Mm. Okay. A little breather. I know, take a break. So you guys, injections hurt in this area, um, but you could see already an improvement in this upper chest. Take a few minutes. You could see an improvement in the upper chest already, and the goal is that it sits here for these next couple days and builds. We add a little bit of PRP and stem cell therapy to help it survive much more, um, and over time, this builds.
squeeze again, let me see on this side. Yeah, like so you can see already, the area not treated versus the area treated. So it's not his own fat. No, this is a cadaver graft. He doesn't really have much fat, to be honest. So we wouldn't be able to, you know, unless we harvested some of his own fat. Here, this is much easier for us to do, where we just use this synthetic fat and fill a small area. Ready yet or no? Sure? Yeah, okay. Fine. There we go, deep breath. Good. Good. Again, we're trying to make it as little needle pokes as possible because it's painful. All right, tell me when you're ready. Okay. Squeeze again, don't you see? Okay, relax, Zach. Little pinch, one, two, three. Good. Do you numb at all? Squeeze again. We do numb, but regardless, it's still painful. The material is thicker and the needle is longer. So we're gonna do a little bit more on the edge right there, a little on both sides. Here to taper, I'm gonna do it on the edge here. Bear with me. Deep breath. Do have is it permanent? Half there. Mm -hmm. This is permanent if it survives. All right, one more in the center. Okay. Deep breath, here we go. Last one. Good. This is if it survives. Remember, fat cells are... Last one. Oh, there is one more. No, I just told you it was the last one. Oh, bad. Mm. Sorry. No, it's good. The more and better, but... Um, fat cells, if they survive, are permanent. But remember, some of the cells um, will die, even like a normal fat. Right, I'm gonna go on this side What's the here. price point compared to other fillers? It's very similar in terms of pricing. All right, so let me take a break. So that's really it, you guys. Now squeeze in your chest, let me see now. Okay, much more even, good. So we're now gonna build, we're gonna use this over time to continue to build up the chest. He'll feel kind of a hardness in that area and then over the next uh, few weeks, we'll know how much starts to stay. Bye.